Hello, and thank you for watching our ActiLife training video. This video will cover a general overview of the ActiLife software. We're going to begin with the file option in the software. When opening the file option, the first thing that you'll notice is Import, Export, Convert. This is where you'll be able to modify files to the format type that you need. As you can see, we offer multiple types of files, including .dat, .csv, .gt3x, etc. that can be converted from EPIC to EPIC, EPIC to RAW, and RAW to RAW. You'll also be able to reintegrate your .agd files and export your additional files, such as heart rate and proximity tagging. Just beneath the Import, Export, Convert option, you'll find where you can open your .agd files. By selecting this option, you will automatically be taken to the directory where your .agd files are stored. With an ActiLife, you can also create and edit templates to be used in your study. Templates help eliminate some of the human errors that can occur in data collection and make sure that all of your devices are initialized and data is retrieved in the same manner. The next two options, Show Download Folder and Show CSV Folder, simply help you locate where your files are being saved. The next option that we will cover is the Tools tab. Under Tools, we'll first look at the options. Within Options, you have the ability to access your general settings and you can change things such as whether you'd like to be prompted for software updates, change your unit of measurement, or change your time span display. Just beneath this, you'll be able to view or change where your files are being stored in the Directories menu. Inside Options, you'll also be able to customize your data downloads via the Downloading Naming Convention and Create File Options. You can customize your ActiLife colors, you can adjust your clinical report algorithms, or you can adjust your proxy settings. Another very useful tab is the Help tab. From this tab, you can access our online support tools such as our FAQ page, sample data files, and the ActiLife Welcome Tour. Under the Help tab, you'll also be able to view your activation details, which will include important information such as the current number of users on your license, the maintenance end date, and the product's key number. You'll also be able to deactivate your software for when moving it to another computer. And finally, under the Help tab is where you'll be able to check to see if there are any new updates available for your license. Next, we are going to cover all the feature tabs in ActiLife, starting with the Devices tab. We'll start by plugging a device in. From this tab, you'll be able to manage your devices and view information about the specific device, such as the serial number, the current firmware, the battery life, and so forth. You will also be able to perform actions such as initialize a device, download data, or update the device's firmware. Another tab in ActiLife is the Wear Time Validation tab, where you can apply algorithms to check the wear compliance of your subjects. Scoring is the location you go to score the daily physical activity of your subjects. Sleep is where all of your sleep files are calculated and analyzed. Under graphing, you can view a visual representation of the subject activity in Data Vault, where data can be stored and shared between users. Please note that the Data Vault is only available with an active maintenance agreement. There are several other tabs that are only available with the advanced sleep features. These include Batch Sleep tab, which allows you to analyze multiple sleep files at once, and the PLM tab for studying periodic leg movement. The final tab is the Center Point tab. This tab allows you to link your Center Point study to ActiLife, where you can perform your post hoc analysis. For further information on the specific tabs, please view our additional ActiLife training videos, where you can find a breakdown of specific tabs and features. We hope that you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.